Here we go. What's going on? Excel Fanatics Vertex is here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your Excel file smaller. So here in my example, you can see the file size is about 2,692 kilobytes. That really isn't that big. Uh, this is okay. This is just for the example. So when you're in the actual file, I have a bunch of nonsense data here. What you want to do is actually go ahead and click on File. Make your way down to Save As. Go over to Browse. And with the new window, the new Save As window that pops up, go over to Save As Type. Go all the way up to Excel Binary Workbook. And then click Save. Now you notice that the file doesn't look any different. The file should remain the same. There shouldn't be any changes to functionality or viewability. It really is just meant to compress the file size. And you can actually see it here. So when I saved as, I made a new file type. It says the type here is the binary worksheet. And you can actually see compared to the original how that did trim down in size. Like I said, this isn't really a big file type. The binary will cut it down as much as it can. Uh, but what really makes a worksheet big, obviously, other than the amount of data that's in it, so the formulas that you have, maybe other macros, uh, graphs, things like that, that really add on to the size of the memory. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful for you.